this is about seven foot by ten foot this is a an anthill here this is the biggest one i've seen in the ozarks in our soils and this field is a big blue stem seed field with virginia wild rye planted in it so it's a long way from being the diverse number of plants we would like to have in a watershed but just to show you what we've done here we've made this suitable for these ants to move in which to us are are great because they're they're going up and down in their columns in their hand hill they're taking nutrients up and down carbon up and down from a soil health standpoint they're enriching that soil with organic matter they are a sign that this soil is healthier than out say in one of our fescue fields that's been in, in fescue for years and years you're not going to see an anthill like this out in these fescue pastures because you're back to them tight compacted soils and uh, a plant that's probably making that ant woozy <laughs> that's a supposition now the ant woozy but uh, with the fescue and, and those introduced cool season grasses you got a root zone like that deep maybe it not only kind of slows water infiltration this up or doesn't enhance it anyway but it also the root system don't go on down we, we put on a lot of added nutrients that are actually in the soil it's just that the crop does not access it because of limited rooting use fertilizer to feed these plants to make growth they become dependent on that and that's the kind of system you set up as opposed to you don't put any on it has to search for its own and maybe it extends the roots a little further. But like the fescues are not, they're not suited to real deep root systems and extracting nutrients from down deep. They're a cool season plant and they grow this time of year when water's in the excess and you don't have to go deep for moisture as opposed to some of our native plants, big blue stem can go 15 feet deep agriculture and and our mindset since settlement is we need just one one plant monocultures in a field lots of people would look at this and say oh my that's that's not good but when you have a monoculture for years and years you're using one set of nutrients you're supplementing it with expensive things which makes it not economically feasible to us when we see this reverse that is a great asset to us it means we we've now got a more regenerative system yeah. <laughs> there that opened up a nest of them didn't it man no i'm really i'm really uh thrilled that we got this anthill here because i think it's uh it's just an ongoing part of soil life and a healthy ecosystem that we're trying to recreate this is Rex Hamilton, Hamilton Native Outpost. If you have questions, comments, thoughts, please post them below.